vlog family welcome back to the channel I wanted to just pop in here quickly and uh, give you guys a proper introduction to the video because some of the clips got cut off in the beginning and also I wanted to tell you guys that we did not film the downstairs empty tour uh, because we are actually change of plans we were gonna rent it out and we were we filmed it talking about that we we're renting it out and stuff like that and we we're getting it ready and then we just decided because the healthnutshop.com is just growing and we needed the space we are gonna actually use the downstairs for the shop and just like for a workspace as well because you guys know my sister Chloe works with us full-time and we're gonna be expanding as well so we definitely wanted the space so we thought we'll just keep the basement and not rent it out so we did film a bunch of before photos and we will do eventually a full tour of what it looks like after everything's all decorated so you'll still see like before and after but I just wanted to start this vlog here otherwise it would just seem a little bit random that we didn't show the downstairs and yeah anyways uh, also I cut my hair I don't know if this is the first time you guys are seeing it on YouTube if you are follow me on Instagram guys I post on there every single day on stories on the feed uh, so you would have already seen this but yeah my new my new spring and summer hair and yes I'm just battling a bit of a cold hence the nasally voice I'm sorry anyways enjoy the video enjoy your new home this was filmed a few weeks ago because it, now we have things here so it's starting to look much different a little sneak peek but enjoy the vlog you guys will see what it looked like when we first moved in enjoy so as you guys can see we just bought a new home we're really excited about this place because you know we do have a few properties already kind of under our belts but yeah. this is like the first one we're buying that we feel like is more of a home because a it's not a condo there's bricks we have grass under the snow we have a backyard which is kind of crazy it's pretty crazy we have a backyard so we're gonna go throughout the house show you the different rooms share with you guys what our ideas have planned I've already started to do some like Pinterest boards uh, but you know when it comes to decorating it's probably I think I wear the pants yeah, probably you know. your, your so, but Matt definitely has some things that he wants to do in this new space. So, you know, we'll go, kind of go throughout the rooms, talk about it a little bit, show you guys the space, and we're just really excited. It's a beautiful home. The previous owners did an amazing job. Yeah, they left it job. so clean. The we could basically move in turnkey and not do anything else. It's pretty much good you know? to go. Yeah. So, ready to get started with the tour? Let's do it. All right, let's hop right in. Okay, so this is our living room, dining room, entertaining area. So as you can see, we have a little bit of stuff to do here. We got to, uh, we got to patch this up. We got to do some paint, just kind of cover it up. The cool thing with this house is we do have built-in speakers, as you can see, and there's some in the ceiling as well. So we're gonna have to get a receiver, hook up, hook up the audio. I think what we'd like to do, like what I would like to do, is I'd love to get a projector screen kind of hanging from the ceiling and have it be able to drop down here so we kind of have a projector between the two speakers which i think would be really cool we're going to have the couch kind of where we're standing here now coffee table rug and then over here is kind of going to be where we want to do some built-in shelving we're going to get a nice big huge live wood table because i really love like the live edge wood i mean there's a bit of negotiation on how it's going to look but we're going to have that here to go underneath this light and then we're going to have maybe um, Maybe some built-in shelving there or some sort of buffet bar. And then we're gonna go into the kitchen here where Nicole is gonna take us through that because that's her domain. So we have some big plans for this kitchen and let's be honest, it's a beautiful kitchen. It's bigger than our last one. Our last one was just a galley kitchen, which is great for some people, but it's not good for me. When I love to cook, I love to entertain and I need, I need space. I'm like one of those like cooks that just kind of float around all over the kitchen. So for this space, pretty much what we have envisioned is definitely we're gonna change out the countertop. So this is just um, like a laminate kind of, uh, what a lot of houses come with. It actually is a nice fake. It does look like granite. It's not. And then this, although this uh, sink here is pretty with the faucet and stuff, I do want to switch it out. So when you do quartz or granite or marble, you want to have an under, I think it's an underset sink. I forget what it's called exactly. What's it called, Matt? So it's called an undermount sink that we're gonna get and it's just gonna be a little bit more clean and flush and I really wanna get a gold faucet. It's kind of, I saw that on Pinterest and apparently it's trending right now. So that's in my wish list for the kitchen. The whole house is really a warm toned house and we are gonna be bringing in a lot of white and gray cooler tone elements to this house. So we may paint the cupboards just in a slightly different white than they're, they're kind of like a cream right now. 
Uh, but backsplash, there's like back and forth right now with Matt and I, whether we're gonna switch it out or not, we may. Uh, but it is a nice backsplash. I just, like I said, it has a warm tone right now, so I might wanna do a cooler tone. Appliances are in good working condition, uh, but I do wanna eventually get stainless steel, so that's kind of like in our wish list. Uh, and then I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we want to do for here. The range hood, I think is what it's called. Uh, we're probably going to move this one downstairs. Matt really wants to get a one of the ones that's a, a microwave as well. I don't really use a microwave uh, that often, but it's a good thing to have. And I hate when people have them on the countertops. It just takes up way too much space. So we're probably going to bring this downstairs and put in one of those like sleek microwave slash fans up there. And then I really want a gas stove. So that's also my wish list. The kitchen is pretty much good to go. I love the open concept and I'm really excited to do some upgrades to this space. So let's move on into maybe the, the bathroom. Matt can go over the bathroom and then we'll go into the hallway and the bedrooms. Okay, so this is the bathroom. The best part about it is we don't have to do anything. It's actually pretty much good to go. I mean, we asked them to keep this the shelving here because we felt like it really went well with the with the bathroom and like the style they were going for. You know, we got the subway tiling all the way around the whole bathroom. It's all along the wall here. Obviously the ceiling and everything. So this is really good to go. We've got, if you can see here, we've got this beautiful wood tile. It's like the fake wood, but made out of ceramic tile. We've got a great vanity already built in here with a nice wide, a nice wide base, so it'll be good for both me and Nicole to be able to kind of be on, it's not a double sink, but we can kind of be on one side of it. And the cool thing I always find is this here, when we open this up, it's kind of crazy looking with all the mirrors, but look at all that, look at it. We got Chloe, we got shelving. So this is gonna be great. I mean, it kind of looks a little bit funky, but I'm kind of excited because at least I can organize. You guys know me, I'm a pretty organized guy. So it's nice to be able to keep things clean, tidy and organized. And that's our bathroom. So we are in the hallway right now. It's very, it's very tight, tight and close. Very tight. There's a, just a linen closet. We have a linen closet. We've never had that before. Very domesticated. I know. So I don't think we've mentioned yet, but this is a three bedroom, one bath bungalow. And then downstairs, there's another technically bedroom and another bathroom. Uh, and then basically uh, first room here, let's maybe go into the master bedroom where all the magic happens. Well, not yet, but you know. Uh, yeah, it's a really cute room. I like that they left all of the fixtures. They left a cute little light. And they had in here when we moved in, or when we were looking at this, uh, the house, when it had all the furniture in, they had a queen, queen size. Bed, dresser there. Nightstands. Yeah. Uh, there was another dresser here. So there was a lot of furniture lot of in here and it was totally fine. But so. I think we want to do the king. We yeah. want to get a king bed. And then like even the closet is like pretty, pretty well Kind of like a faux walk-in closet. I mean, it's pretty, it's got a pretty good system here, you know, like this will maybe take half of Nicole's shoes. And then we maybe. have uh, some good racks for like hanging up stuff. I like to hang my clothes, I don't like to fold. It's gonna be like kind of his and hers. I like the style and yeah. who knows, we might have, we might kind of do a remodel of this. We're not sure yet, but I love that it is a double door closet. Yeah. Cause sometimes when you have the slider, it's hard to get in there. You yeah, know? it's nice. It's just Nice and open, nice and airy. Yeah, it's really cute. And there's more space here behind the door. So we feel like, it could be down over there. <laughs> we feel like there's lots of room in here uh, to hopefully fit a king size bed. Bedroom number two, but it's definitely gonna be the office. Um, it's a good size. I think what we're gonna do here, so the one thing I don't like about this house is that it doesn't have a door to the backyard, which I find odd, but I know some houses were built that way. But for me, I like being able to go out to the backyard without having to go out the front door and walk and go around. Go all the way around, yeah. Especially if you have a dog, you want a barbecue. Yeah. It's just like a, an extra step that you... Yeah. It's a lot, a lot more convenient. So I yeah. think here, along this window, we're gonna cut this out to create a door so that it wouldn't go right outside. So we're gonna cut this out, 
probably put in like, I don't know, a custom I think they're called door. like a garden door when it's just like one door or, because I don't think we want to do a slider. No. Uh, we want to try to just have an exit, but not take up too much of the wall. Yeah. And then we'll have like the office set up here. I probably. think the desk here. Desk, maybe some bookcases uh, Shelves, or yeah. And then behind where Chloe is, hashtag the cameraman or camera woman, uh, we're going to maybe do some of the built-in kind of shelving um, mm. that we had at our previous place. And... That's pretty much it. I like the light in here. I think this is gonna be a really cozy little office. Yeah. And I actually already like the paint color. It's not bad. It's the, the light fixture I'm gonna to wanna to change. Yeah, maybe put something else in. But. Yeah, but you know, is that even a light bulb? It's not. Yeah. It's a little bit of a weird one. Okay, so let's move on to the bedroom third bedroom. Three. Yeah. So it's a change from the other place. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit of a different color change. Um, so obviously we're gonna paint. It just looks really dark in here. We probably look really dark on camera now. It, it makes it look small. Makes it look dark. So we're gonna definitely paint a brighter, light gray, white color. Fresh. Yeah, freshen and I think it up. This is gonna be our guest room so when you guys come over to stay you know we got a guest room here yeah come over <laughs> have a sleepover i think what we're gonna do because we want to be able to use the space more openly we're just gonna i think we're gonna go with like a murphy bed so that when we do have a guest come over we can just like pop it down but when we don't have people over we can just put it up and have space to work in or and use. murphy beds have come a long way there are oh, there are so cool. many modern oh, ones yeah. there that have like good mattresses in them so i think it's going to be like a great way to kind of utilize more of the space because i would love this to be a library slash yoga slash meditation room what are you going to do in here I don't even think I'm allowed in it. I know. <laughs> it's it's my den. It's the yeah. Zen den. Um, but yeah, it's I definitely. Want to change this light. I yeah. Mean, I don't know if you see that light. I think we had that in our house growing up. That's oh, an that's old like, that's like light. 70s yeah. Light. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's a little nostalgic. Uh, and that's yeah. pretty much the. Let's head back into the main room and uh, let's get out of the the cave. It's so dark. So there you have it. That is the upstairs empty house tour. It's beautiful, lots yeah. of light, really happy with the space, lots of possibilities up here. I would love to know what is your favorite room and if you have any ideas on what you think we should do, this is the time to let us know because it's, it's like an empty blank uh, slate really. There's so many ideas that we can do here. Leave your suggestions down below and yeah, we're really excited just to get started and move everything in and get remodeling. Thank you so much guys. Thanks guys. Good job. High five. Boom. See you in the next vi video. <laughs> I've lo I've lo I don't know. It's not okay. my usual channel. I don't, I don't know. know what to yeah, Bye. It was good. And out.